To write the name for Ag2S, we first have to think about what type of compound we have. Since we have a metal and a nonmetal, we're going to treat this as an ionic compound. So because of that, we'll use these rules here. First off, we have silver. So we're going to write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So Ag, that's silver. Then we can write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. S is sulfur, lowercase s. Next, we replace that ending there with IDE. So the name for Ag2S, that's silver sulfide. Silver is an interesting element. It's a transition metal. We find it right here on the periodic table. But in general, it'll have a 1 plus ionic charge. For that reason, you don't really have to write 1 in Roman numerals here to show the charge. It's not incorrect to do it, though. Both silver 1 sulfide and just silver sulfide are both acceptable. This is Dr. B with the name for AG2S. Thanks for watching.